sword and shield anything in so long. Uh, mainly because I was just focusing on TCG. Alright. First boss, let's go! Wait, would these be considered bosses or mini bosses? We're gonna take out the side characters first and then focus on the big giant dude in the center. Sir, that was disrespectful and not needed. So it's a race between Ivan and Isaac to who's the fastest. It's like they trade. Okay, I don't think I need to high impact anymore. I think we just attack. Oh, you're talking about terrestri terrestrializing. I literally killed him in three hits. Am I really that OP already? I I forget the proper way of going about doing this. Um, I believe you go to the right to get the item right there. You're out of the loop on the new stuff. I mean, it's not out yet, so unless you went out of your way to do research on it, I, I don't I wouldn't expect anybody to actually know what's going on with it. terrestrializing I, I can't wait I need that game in my life like right now is anybody in chat planning on getting the uh, the Pokemon Nintendo switch OLED besides me and before you get um and just so you guys or not just you guys before you guys wonder yes I bought the Splatoon Nintendo switch OLED as well I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to limited edition uh, gaming systems especially Nintendo li uh, limited edition systems I need all of those in my life oh man there's an item box right there that means I need to go all the way back now doesn't it uh, am I going the right way god this is irritating I mean, I know it's meant to be like this because it's a secret zone, but God, this is annoying. <laughs> so, uh, terrestrializing is uh, replacing Dynamax? Yes, pretty much. It's this generation's gimmick. I'm just going to drop it, right? I don't really care about selling it. I'm going to drop all the items I don't need because I don't want to have them in my inventory. It's basically a hidden power third type in double uh, uh, STAB or stab moves if you already have the type. After you will basically give your priority speed to all the Pokemon Colorful will make will look at, uh, faster than Internal Sun. I believe after, yeah, after me gives, uh, I think it allows a user to go, I don't know actually what after me does. <laughs> don't listen to me. I would only lie to you. It does a thing for a reason. I got a hard nut. Never gets funny. I mean, never gets, uh, never sounds any better. Wow. Isaac has the worst defense of everybody there, but I think the most HP. No, Garrett has the most HP. Oh, look, Garrett, you're not absolutely useless after all.
Eruption hits both targets and terrestrialize uh, boosts Eruption's base power by two times. Wait, doesn't Eruption hit not only their but Pokemon, but yours as well? I thought it hit the entire field. With the exception of the Pokemon that uses it. Am I wrong on that? Nope. Oh, okay. I've been thinking about that one wrong this entire time. Whoops. Okay, so I need to move this back. There we go. Then I have to go around the other way to get back to where I was. Boo! I hate this so much. It's so much work to do. Just get around the corner. It's so bad. It's a dumb. Okay, we made it. Oh, God, that took forever. I lost like 20 minutes of my life right there. And then there's a mimic chest right in front of the door because why? Because why not, right? Aqua Sock! Rabbit Smash! Or Sonic Smash, technically. Haha! Curse me. Fails! That's Earthquake? Okay. Hidden Power Type to determine Terror Type? I mean. That could be what they're using. I wouldn't rule it out. Where are the mist potions at, by the way? Yeah, self-destruct also hits everybody. Alright, we have a bunch of blue bears and a succubus. There's the succubus! I knew it existed! High impact? Alright, let's take out the succubus first before it glowers and stuff. Bear claw! Wow, they're doing like four damage. Oh, that's hilarious. They don't do any damage, and it's funny. Oh, we killed them all. Well, that's unfortunate. I wasted turns. Ooh, seven damage. Oh, the pain. The agony. Well, there. Well, at least that one's gonna do more damage, right? Yo, these Grizzlies actually have more day, um, HP than I thought they did. Wow, he did no damage still. I feel really sorry for these bears. They're trying their hardest though. I give them that. Poor things, they tried. Oh, God. One of the most useless items in this game. Elixir. Grizzlies? Neither grizzlies. Grizzlies. 222 coins? I'm rich! Earth! Oh, Lucky Pepper. Um, I need that for Isaac, actually, right? 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, we're giving it to Isaac. We're gonna give him Gaia Blade, so I want him to have, you know, that, uh, that good good. I push this over, right? And then I can push that up, like this. I hope that works, so we push this up now. And then we can go down here and push that over. Then I can push this up. And hooray, we're done. Well, that was easy. Mystery Blade, ooh, that's the one that gives me like, Nourish, right? Yes. Oh, but my weapons are already too good for it? That's unfortunate. I 
I can sell it for some money, though. I was supposed to be done by now, but the wife said she... I think the wife went to her parents' house. So... I'm taking advantage of that fact to uh, continue streaming. Uh, let's just do the... We attack the same thing until it dies. Trick. Right? Well, I had some damage. Their physical attacks do no damage, though. Uh, let's kill the Lich, then, because the Lich seems to do some damage, at least. And it's got Curse- oh yeah, it's got Die. You gotta die, like, immediately. One thing I like about Golden Sun is even the mages do okay physical damage, especially if they crit. True! What I will say about that is I don't believe any of them are considered just mages, though. I think they all are physical attackers. Uh, but, you know, Ivan clearly has, you know... Higher magic damage than he does physical. Yeah, no, no. What you said is correct. Don't listen to me. I'm a noodle. Don't listen to me no more. I was like, wait, if they do more magic damage, then yeah, they're considered mages. Don't listen to me. Bacteria rush. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's the lack of pizza. That's what it is. I got an antidote and a side crystal. Oof. I have one, two, three, four, five spaces left for things. Well... Make that six because I got rid of that antidote. Um, are we playing the catch game here? Characters that are designated as warrior and mage in code. It determines what they can equip. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And also affects the base class. Told you I didn't know what I was talking about. Y'all thought I knew what I was talking about. Pshaw. Uh, I think this is the way to get this key, right? Oh, are you telling me I'm too far away? I'm about to say. I think I need all the keys, right? To open the doors? Um, where is... Go this way, right? Jump over here, there, 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 there. there. Uh, okay, we're lost. Okay, go, the, go back this way. Go here, here. Here, here, grab that. Oh, okay, it worked. I thought I was gonna fail because I was facing diagonal. The red key is, of course, here. Because they thought they were slick, but they're not. I'm missing one blue key. I think this is too far away, right? Yeah. And that's not the right angle. Okay, gotta go back this way then. Bang! Oh, I gotta go all the way back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Also face affects their base class. Aren't mages usually slow in most games, though? They gave uh, Mia and... Uh, well, actually, Ivan. I guess Ivan really is the only person they gave, like, hyperspeed to. I'm rushing in! Not really. The fairy ring. Acts like an elixir in battle. Well, we're selling that. I got a cookie! One twenty-five, one nineteen, two oh two, one eighty-four. I'm gonna give it to her. Just because I want her to have more for her heels. 
Mercury is just a really slow element. Mages are traditionally faster in this game. I just like Red Mage with the buffs. Uh, where Mia is more like the White Mage. Alex, what's up, buddy? Aren't you supposed to be in bed? What are you still doing up, sir? What's up, everybody? Batman with no gadgets, but Spider-Man powers, or Spider-Man with powers, but all of Batman's gadgets? Spider-Man with no powers, but all of Batman's gadgets. Well, I mean, Spider-Man with no powers is just an ordinary kid. I would go with Batman with no gadgets because at the very least, I know Batman can fight, you know, hand to hand and still hold his own. Um, but I kind of feel like Spider-Man's smart, but he needs his powers to actually be effective. Multi-element classes are also either warrior or mage, but it doesn't really stop characters from switching into classes not designed for them. What if Spider-Man bust out the bat glock? <laughs> I feel like only Batman would be able to utilize his gadgets properly, though. I feel like everybody else would just kind of be standing there looking at them. Wait, when did I get a smoke bomb? Get that out of here. I mean, Spider-Man survived Randy Savage for three minutes. That was a fluke, okay? He got lucky. Also, for everybody, Uh, new to the channel, Alex is playing is the wonderful lever, leader of the uh, Mellow Fellows team, as well as the awesome leader of the Penguin Cave. He likes to go into other people's streams and judge them accordingly. So if you ever see him in the chat, uh, in the the chat, beware because he's judging you. He streams lots of wonderful games. Uh, well known for his Dead by Daylight streams and other games such uh, like that. Um, he also streams a lot of retro games as well, um, on his spare time and on his stream. So if you have not checked him out, definitely follow that shout out, check out his channel. Awesome streamer. He usually streams, uh, I think it's, not, no, he streams in the morning for him, but it's the night time for me, so. He's usually going, he's usually getting off his stream when I'm getting, uh, get it, uh, waking up after dealing with my kid. It's night for you too. So he just streams at night and not in the morning. So there you go. You'll usually catch him like at 11, 12, 1 o'clock ish. You wake up at midnight. I can't stream nights, chat, because I'm uh, I'm not a night owl. I do stream nights during the weekdays because of work, but I prefer to do mornings. My preferred stream times are 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. usually. Sometimes it's 2, but usually it's 4. Look, I'm not saying I'm always judging. I'm just saying I'm making notes. <laughs> so he's judging you. That sounds like judging to me. But yeah, we were talking about uh, Pokemon TCG as well as Pokemon BGC uh, competitive. Um, while also going over, you know, our fondest memories of Golden Sun. Do you have any fond memories of Golden Sun, uh, Alex? These guys give you a lot of potions. Um, I gotta put Cloak as my go-to spell. Can I halt this? Wow, 
Wait, there's a chest chest. That's probably the one with the coins, right? Golem Song was great. As someone who was a night owl, even when I was younger, it was great fun to read the text without a backlight. You're a brave soul. <laughs> the second I could get, like, even for the old Game Boy that didn't, or the old GBA that didn't have the backlight before the SP came out, I, uh, I had, like, this magnifying glass with the backlight on it. So that I could play my my Game Boy Advance in the night. I was not playing that without no dang backlight. That's how serious it was for me. That ain't. I thought I could cheese it, but part of my foot was still in the light. You had a worm light for your Game Boy um, and color. Thing was like a little uh, bendable light. I had like an actual magnifying glass with the light attached to it. I know way too much about this game. I mean, that's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. It's better to know way too much about this game than to know nothing about this game because this game was a gem. Also, this game is on the Nintendo Wii U's eShop until March of 20, uh, March 27th of 2023. So if you have any intention of picking this game up, you might want to do so before then. Because once that time limit hits, you will never will no longer be able to uh, pre-download uh, this game or anything of the sort. You've been warned. Do I get rid of the plate now, right? To put on the jacket? Resist all elements, and eh, we'll keep that on. So she's gonna hit me, right? You know what? Can't I just do this? Now you can hit me. Ah! Wait, I guess it didn't matter. I have to go this way anyway. Wait, she went upward. She shouldn't have been able to do that. I'm a gym. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Shouting out the Wii U eShot was a bold move, but considering I'm one of the only four people that bought one, it was very appropriate. <laughs> I guess I'm one of those four people, and I believe it was a... Uh... Oh, add time. Yep, I have the Wind Waker Wii U. Um, I I clamored hard to get that. I was standing in the store to make sure I could get that. Um, I believe I want to say it was Zithy that has a Wii U as well. No, my bad. It's Fant. I think it's Fant that has the Wii U. Broshi, it's a Wii U. You could have not gone to the store that day and it would still be on the shelf even now. Look, at the time I had no idea the Wii U was going to be terrible, okay? I assumed it was going to be the next best thing and then it turned out to not be terrible. Um, to not be the next best thing. I panicked and I wanted it. Especially the special edition. I know, I thought it was fun. I'm actually going to have to throw out some uh, abilities now, aren't I? Oh, I meant to attack the Harridan. But I also acknowledge that people were more desperate to get a worldwide illness than Mario Kart. 
<laughs> yeah, I just said by how poorly it ended up doing overall. Cause I thought it had a good it had a good concept. Um it had a great catalog in my opinion. Just seemed like nobody wanted to get it. The game cat, the gamepad concept worked wonders for me because I was in a situation where I barely ever had control of the TV. Also, everybody that was dealing with the ad, welcome back. I hope the ads weren't too um, unfortunately painful for you. Um, I swear I don't do it on purpose. It's specifically just so that I can keep pre-rolls from running on the channel. Oh, so I hit him with that delusion and he's still smacking me with abilities. What if that killed him? Yes, level 25 Paragon. I actually don't think I'm going to have a high enough level to be able to kill the uh, boss down here. I've mastered the art of the ad now. The amount Twitch wants par uh, partners to start playing is uh, insanity though. Yeah, I mean, even for me, I have to play an ad once every 30 seconds, essentially. I'm uh, not 30 seconds, once every 30 minutes. And I think my ad revenue splits like 55% or something like that. But it's like, I'm really, I'm literally just doing it because of the pre-rolls. The pre-rolls irritate people. And I know that because it irritates me. I cannot stand the constant pre-rolls. Did I do that wrong? I feel like I did that wrong. I did do that wrong. Push that back. They want you to do six mins an hour and be live for 190 hours. Oh, what? So you have to run six ads per hour? Or one six minute ad per hour? That sounds ridiculous. Do they expect somebody to sit in the channel and watch that? A three minute every 30 minutes for two minutes every 20. Wow. And I thought a minute and a half was too long per hour. Like I felt my skin crawl just putting it to one minute and 30 seconds. But it was the only way to keep pre-rolls off. Boost agility and resist win. Five up. That's actually a downgrade for him. It's an upgrade for her. Oh, but if I do that, I don't have the ability to... Uh, mm, I don't have the HP re uh, restoration if I do that. I think I like the HP restoration. Even more so than the agility that I would get. I can give it to him though. I mean, as if Isaac needed to be faster. I only have three spots left. I'm gonna have to start getting rid of some stuff. I might throw those tickets away. In your experience, viewer engagement doesn't change with pre-rolls. Or as regardless, I was a strict pre-roll person, but now I really like having just over a minute here and there to gather my thoughts and stretch the all hands and whatnot. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Nice. 
nice. I want to be a Twitch partner. Um, I would not mind being a Twitch or YouTube partner. Um, it's just right now I'm not able to stream as much as it would be necessary. I could if, and, it, and this is the sad part, I could stream as much as necessary if I had the subscriber base for it. I just don't have the subscriber base to sustain a full-time stream. I love streaming though. Streaming is incredibly fun for me. It's just not monetarily feasible for me to do right now. If that makes sense. Oh, wow. nice. Uh, was it just a long grind over time, or do you feel like there was uh, a game that helped you break through the average viewership? Partner's nice, but the affiliate program is so nice now. I wish it was like this when it was. Really? You feel So you feel that affiliate is better than partner? May I ask why? can't buy any of these, can't buy any of these until I get my pain and suffering money. No, I feel that affiliate, uh, I feel like it's so nice compared to five years ago, okay. But overall, you still think partner would be better? Well, I mean, I guess considering the way they're treating the partners with the ad, the the payment split and whatnot, you kind of feel like you're still just a partner. I mean, uh, affiliate. Oh, you know what? I need to use that weasel claw and crystal powder. mix of both. One game definitely carried you uh, to the numbers you needed, but we still grinded for years. The, part, the ad thing is for monthly monetary. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I. so I will say that I probably messed myself up by switching off of playing uh, Smash Brothers. Um, I just did not want to be locked into becoming the Smash Brothers streamer, if that makes sense. I didn't want that to be my main game. Um, so I stopped streaming so much more Smash Brothers. And I subsequently lost a bulk of my viewership when I did that. Which is fine. Getting locked into things is awful. A lot of people feel the struggle when they burn it. Yeah. And that was the biggest thing was like, I didn't want to get into a situation where I'm just tired of streaming the same game over and over again. I love being able to stream a variety of games. Um, at any point in time. It feel, it just feels better for your mental and for just overall viewability. Like, I feel like more people in my channel have been enjoying a bulk of different games um, as opposed to just the same game over and over again. And now, I know Smash, you'll probably get uh, tons of people who will just constantly be there for Smash. But Smash can get really boring after a while. Like, you've seen, after seeing the same matchup over and over and over and over again, it's like, okay, I'm tired of this. <laughs> Something new, please. Slow and steady or stagnation at a certain level is way better than a temporary rise at the expense of your happiness. Yep. But I will give you 
three big reasons as to why I want to become a full-time streamer. Reason number one, I love streaming and the interaction I get to have with various people around the world. Uh, number two, I love playing video games um, for myself and for others' entertainment. Um, and what was... I, I'm trying to remember that third fact. That was the third fact and I just forgot it. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> I guess the third fact would just be that I enjoy playing games with other people. Um, I grew up in a household that, of people that didn't really like video games all that much. Um, and the I lacked the ability to get around as often as I would like to be able to play with other people. So I usually spent most of my days playing video games with myself. So it felt good being able to actually get online and play video games with other people, chatting and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would love to do more, you know, Mario Party and all that kind of stuff with people over comms and the like. Um, I feel like that would be tons of fun. Um, I want to get back to more Apex, too. Fact 3, playing Papa John's and NFL ads every 30 minutes on your channel gives like 650 ball. Ooh, what? That's got to be for partners, right? But yeah. We are at 949 followers right now, um, so we're trying to get that 1,000 mark before the end of the year. So if you guys haven't followed the channel yet, um, and you like the content that you've seen so far, you like the conversations on the island and whatnot, I, I urge you guys to drop a follow. Um, normally I don't try to push the follower clause all that much, but I'm so close to that mark and I would really love to hit that before the end of the year. 100k coming one year. Oh, that would be lovely. Let's go 1k. Let's do it. I'm going to use two people to attack him. Mm, we'll have you attack that. You that one. And then wish well. That would be the best Christmas present ever, is to hit 1k before the end of the year. You followed me from a shout out on someone else's stream? Yeah, I remember when you, uh, I forget the streamer that you came in with, but I do remember you when you came in. You forgot who too? Well, at least, well now I don't have to feel bad about forgetting who it was. Might have been Ryu Hashira. Do-do-do-do-do. Probably. I'm trying to look through my feed to see if I can find, uh... find anything from it but don't see it and of course they don't give me a way to filter well they don't give me a way to like search the activity feed because they're evil evil if it wasn't there it was probably through smash a long time ago <laughs> yeah man it's been a while since i played smash i actually thought about playing smash today after snap um but while playing snap i had this urge to play golden sun so I was like, yeah, we're popping gold Sunday. I've been wanting to jump back into Smash just so I can play Sora, though.
Yo, all these bosses drop potions. I hope that's not a bug. They could at least drop miss potions. But yeah, as always, I appreciate the support. I feel like I should pass out some gift subs. Maybe after we beat this game, I'll throw out gift subs to celebrate the beating of the first Gold Ton game. Also, does anybody have any plans for Halloween? Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be streaming because I'll I'll be just getting in from work. I'm gonna be exhausted and I have baby duty, so. Uh, we're gonna be dressing her up for Halloween. Um, we're gonna be dressing her up as Snorlax, I believe, for Halloween. Going to a rave in Boston? Oh, that sounds neat. You're gonna be in a penguin onesie? That sounds awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna dress up for Halloween. I'm thinking of putting on my uh, Yoshi onesie. But I haven't quite decided yet. It's not a Yoshi onesie, it's a Yoshi cosplay. My bad. The Yoshi costume. But another reason why I'm not streaming is because I bought candy for the kids to pass out and it would suck if they can't get candy because I'm streaming. Though there's the bigger part of me that just hopes they don't come to my door so that I can eat the candy myself. But it's like a small part of me that wants that, right? Yeah, I'm going with a bunch of friends who typically don't go to shows anymore because you're 30 now. But even now, and again, um, every now and again, you'll check some shows out and whatnot. That just makes me wish, or it makes me miss going to uh, cons and whatnot. I used to go to raves too, but I stopped doing a lot of raves when I turned 30. Mostly because I just don't have the time. But I still try to go to like Otakon or, you know, Katsukon once a year. Uh, but since we had the, the, since pandemic happened, we stopped going to conventions and then pandemic wore down, but we had a kid. So then it's like, okay, well now we can't go to conventions because the kid, so... Maybe next year we'll try to go when she's walking and talking uh, more fluently. We'll try to go to like uh, Katsukan. Not Katsukan, uh, Otakon. Club scene is best 20, uh, the age of 21 to 25. Yep, that makes sense. It all starts to fill this in. Yep. Precisely how I was feeling. It was feeling more of, like, more of the same. Alright, so that's a cursed weapon, but I don't think that's the cursed weapon that I want. How do I get over there? I know there's a way to get over there. Oh, I know how. I was like, I don't see it. I see it now. Come over here. And pull it up. I started uh, DJing at 26. It was already burnt out of the club rape scene, so you retired. So how much DJing did you actually get through before you retired? I'm curious. Hey, water of life, that's important. 
Like, how much before you were like, okay, I'm done. Also, I have all the Jenny now. Yo, this place is humongous. I always forget how much of this cavern exists. Earth Lizard. We're gonna use Weasel's Claw. As always, focus one down. Thirty-nine with an unempowered attack. All right, let's use crystal powder. You know what? Let's have her use glacier anyway. Hope he doesn't heal. Dual acid blessing. Wish well. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. Played a gig every Friday, sometimes Thursday too, for like six to eight months. Then you're homie and um, and yourself started the co uh, the company with just bad news. So I got sick of him and said uh, you're out. Uh, playing the set was dope. Everything else like promoting and setting up and tearing down, people using your uh, gear and not getting paid. All that was whack. Was it not getting paid by the other guy or the places that you were uh, DJing at, not paying you? Oh, he's dead now. I just wasted an attack. More acid! Gotta love the acid. Wish well. You have your partner? Okay. Well, that's disrespectful. to be for me to get pure wish. Now he's in like 1k in debt and honestly he kind of deserves it. Always treat people poorly. Yep, if you can't treat people nice, then bad things generally tend to follow you. That's why I try to be nice to everybody. There are those that, you know, you just can't be nice to because they're jerks, but overall, I believe I I believe I'm a nice person overall. But yeah, the suit the, the second you attempt to cross me in a very disrespectful way, that's when I'm like, okay. Okay. You I was I'm always like, okay, so I see you choose violence today, huh? Is that what we're doing? Uh, we're choosing violence. Ba, 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 ba. 
He was just cycling a new crowd of people that didn't know better when DJs or, and promotions would stop working with him uh, because of his reputation. Yeah, it makes sense. But then I'm certain you'll get to a point eventually where everybody knows who you are and how bad your reputation is and no one will work with you. That being said, you did throw some banging shows, which is dope. What? Shows can't last if a person is not willing to work with you. part was the last part, right? I think this was it. I think I know how. You're glad that you did go out when you did? Yeah, you were able to avoid a bunch of pain and suffering, a, a bunch of unnecessary pain and suffering. We got an ad, another ad coming up in a minute. I think that works, right? Oh, wait, but I can't go that way. Womp. Hmm. I guess I don't know how to get that chest. Missing something here. I guess the success comes from sacrifice, but when you feel like you're sacrificing yourself and mental health for someone else, you realize it's not worth it. Yep, nothing's ever worth your worth your own mental health. Ever. And I'm learning that lesson right now. Oh, I know how to do it now. It took me a second, but I, I think I figured out how to do this. on this, so I'm sorry if I missed the ad start. 
I was too busy trying to figure out how the heck to get this to work. But I think I figured out how to do it now. I think that's enough space in between. It finished? Alright, sweet. You guys didn't miss anything, though. I, it's just me moving uh, blocks. The Wicked Mace. Well, that looks like it's cursed. Poison Death. Well, that's a beautiful name. Oh, wait. This one's not cursed. It is cursed. What? Why does this one not say it was cursed? Oh, poo. It didn't read that it was cursed like this one. So when I saw that this one didn't say cursed, but this one did, I assumed that meant it wasn't cursed. Now I'm stuck with a cursed weapon. And no way at the moment to re remove it. I wish I had saved before I equipped it. I should have saved before I equipped it. Now I'm stuck with it. Rip. So the last thing I want is a cursed weapon going into a... Uh... The, the boss fight here at the end. I tapped over because it said I was too far away and it pushed it off the cliff. Man, that was some terrible luck. I dislike the fact that you are able to push this off a cliff. This should be close enough, right? There we go. Alright, so what am I going to do about this cursed weapon? The reset room strategy, yep. Oh, what am I going to do about this cursed weapon? Isaac. Unfortunately, I equipped it to Isaac. Isaac is my main source of damage. So it being on him means I do less damage. Overall. Now he's dead. Well, this is going perfectly. Water of life. Did not think I'd have to burn a water of life before getting to uh, the end boss. Alright, we're going in with uh, guns blazing now. Enough of the silliness. All 
Alright, everybody, put the smack down on the other Thunder Lizard so we can't get stunned anymore. There we go. Well, at least they infected her with deadly poison, so she'll be able to heal it without taking any damage. Return the slab or suffer the curse. <laughs> Looks like I'm suffering that curse. Uh Let's put frost up. I don't understand why it's not working there, but whatever. what it was for. Lame! Alright. So we have two more rooms, right? Because I think it goes up to, uh, the coin count goes up to 999. Yep, there's 888. So we have one more room after this one. side, don't I? Oh, wait. No, I exit. I go back in. I push the rock over. Jump over. Climb up. Get this? I can't reach that rock. You could use Isaac to cast Jins until he gets Judgment Summon. That would fix the damage issue. The problem is, is that the uh, curse can activate even if I'm only using a Jin. So, for instance, if I if I activate my Jin. Um, there's still a potential chance that Isaac can't be, um, can't move because he's bound by the curse. Yeah, it's not the damage that's annoying about the curse. It's the fact that it stops my character from moving for a turn, potentially. That's where the problem comes in. Like Isaac could potentially miss a turn, which could inadvertently cause me to lose a character. I 
mean, it won't matter once we get to once we get out of Crossbone. Um, it really only matters now because we're in Crossbone and I don't have the item that allows me to ignore curses. And missing a turn against was it Deadbeard or whatever you call him could be extremely hazardous to my health and all others. That's what I needed right there. Yep. Removes a curse's effect. Well, now we don't have to worry about it because the curse won't affect him anymore. So in the end, all is right with the world. <laughs> I couldn't remember if the cleric's ring was here or inside of Venus Lighthouse. I'm glad it was here. All right, we have double servers. Dealing damage with their physical attacks? Let's go. Third ring saves the day. Yes, sir. The sad part is I still have to remove it using the, uh, the priest inside those buildings, inside the churches. This dude has used Poison Cloud every turn so far. attack is going to kill him. They're going to kill Ivan. I mean, Isaac. Gotta heal myself, otherwise they kill me. I'm glad I used Wishwell. HP than I thought they would. Wow, I'm actually surprised that one service is still alive. There he goes. Well, now we can just focus down the one. Okay. Getting criticals. Only 81 damage from Ivan. Here. D 
Debilitate. Never gonna use it. I literally never use it. What are my top three Final Fantasies? Hmm. Final Fantasy Seven. That's the one with Cloud in it. Um. Final Fantasy Fourteen because of Yastola. And then. What was which what which was the Final Fantasy that had Zidane in it? No 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 not the one with Zidane. Final Fantasy X with uh, Yuna. So you're looking at uh, seven is one, fourteen is two, ten is three. Nine is the one with Zidane. Yeah okay, Zidane would be four though. So yeah, uh, seven, ten, and then. Uh, not 7, 10. 7, 14, then 10 will be my top three. How about you? What are your uh, top three Final Fantasies? Yeah, it was 8, 12, flip flop for first place. Third is Def 9, though. Fourth, eh, prob 7, and then fifth, I guess. Yeah, so I didn't originally play a lot of the older ones. Um. Back then, I was born to Legend of Dragoon than I was into uh, Final Fantasy, uh, the Final Fantasy games. Um, so I didn't really play too many of them back then. Um, I played 9, I played 7, I played 10, 14, uh, was it 12, and 15. Oh, and... Can I change my top three? All right, so, and I don't know how I forgot about this one, but my, my favorite game is 13. The entire 13 series. Uh, I am a humongous lightning nerd. <laughs> so it's 13, 7, 14, 10, 9. Top 5 are those. Top 3, of course, are 13, 7, 14. And 14 really is only because I like MMORPGs and Gestola. Is in that game, and I have a I like cat girls. Don't hit me. Is that gonna make it? That's not gonna make it. I thought it would, but it didn't. <laughs> I said don't at me There's no rule saying that I can't like cat girls The two little fluffy ears I forget how you get that one man I hate these puzzles Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
I also enjoyed the Dissidia games. Quite a quite a lot actually. Hear me out about 13 though. I never liked Lightning's voice actor, and I didn't like the menu select noises, like the clocks selecting. Oh, I definitely don't think that it's a game that everybody would um would like. Uh, by any means. I honestly think it's probably one of the worst Final Fantasies in terms of everybody else. I personally just liked Lightning. I was... You could almost say that I, I was in love with Lightning. I loved her as a character. But, oh, by, by far, I think it's probably the worst of all the Final Fantasies in terms of ratings and whatnot. I, I, I think everybody in the world pretty much hated that game. <laughs> But, but me, of course. Lightning's a baddie, though. You stopped at the good part where the world actually uh, opens up. Yeah, it does take a while for that to happen, though, right? to do this man I completely forget how to work this you appreciate the honesty oh yeah no I I know for a fact it's probably one of the worst rated uh, Final Fantasies uh, probably up there with uh, 15 I think 15 got sharded on pretty hard too. I thought 15 was pretty good though, but I can definitely, again, see why people would dislike 15. I have no idea what I'm doing here anymore, and I feel like I'm just making a mess. Yeah, I feel like I just managed to do nothing but make a mess. This just does this, right? It just makes a bridge right there. I need to find a way to get this up there. Oh, you know what? If I do this. Then I do this. Then I do this. Did it. This law puzzle friend uh, fried your 12 year old brain. You had the game facts, the solution. 
You know, I most likely did the same thing. <laughs> I probably did the same thing. I want to equip it, but because the axe is there, I can't. People just like to put all their focus on like one or two things. Uh, don't like random bot not liking them, and then people on the fence of playing them be like, eh, I guess I'll pass instead of making their own. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I would say 13, the first one, was decent. That weird, van not vanilla thing, uh, Lightning's sister, because I don't care about her sister, so I forget her name. But that, like, side quest game was, like, weird, and I feel like it didn't need to be there. Um, but then Lightning Returns, I felt like, really brought everything together. Really enjoyed that. But yeah, that, that first one where it was like, that, I mean, that second one where it was like, homegirl and some random dude that felt like they just threw in the story just to throw in the story. Yeah, 13-2. Dash 2, yeah. Sarah, that's her. There you go. That's her name. <laughs> that's how forgettable she was for me. It was just like, why is she here? All right, next ad in 57 seconds. Yeah, I like how they did uh, Lightning Returns. I actually still have all those games upstairs too for PlayStation 3. They're all upstairs in my bedroom under our nightstand. You know what? Now I feel like I should play those games on stream. Are they considered retro? People love 13. Really? Because I feel like more people just threw shade at it. <laughs> Alright, ad starting. We'll start the fight for, uh... We'll start this fight after the ad is done. Alright. The ads are over, which means it's time to fight the, uh, the big guy. And this is probably my favorite battle music of all time. Though, Lost Age had some good ones too, but I think this is still my favorite of all time. Alright, let's ground him. Uh, let's use Forge. I don't think sealing his synergy will do anything, but you're gonna know we're doing it anyway. Do you get anything for beating him, though? Alright, let's go with Granite. Uh, let's do... Corona. Uh, let's go Kite for Isaac. Let's use Fizz on Mia. A weapon? Okay. I always forget. I just know you're supposed to beat him up. Well, I mean, I guess you're not supposed to beat him up. You don't have to if you don't want to. Because this boss is completely optional. But he's a fun optional boss. Well, now he's going to start smacking me with things I don't want to get smacked with. Uh, let's use Bane. Uh, followed by Flint. 
We'll use Flash to block more damage. Zephyr to boost agility. Miss to see if we can put him to sleep. What if I could have poisoned him? Oh, using Ward. Oh, I forgot he has break too, doesn't he? Oh, I'm doing all this bo boosting for nothing. He could just break me if he wanted to. And I don't have break yet, so. All right, judgment for the plaintiff. Torch to penetrate, pretend, blah, blah, blah. Torch to penetrate defense. A squall to potentially paralyze him. And spritz to heal any potential damage he does. I love how this always uh, shows you destroying multiple parts of the world. Or the land before actually hitting the boss. It's like we do more damage than the bad guys. 1,000, that was pretty lot. Oh, that was a lot. One-on-one, -on -one, that was not a lot. Yep, we got broken. You jerk. Then he hit me for 205. Cure well. Summon Meteor. Or summon Giant Fire Rock. Uh, summon Giant Guy with Hammer. Summon the Ice Maker. Oh crap, she's gonna die. She might die before we can use, summon the uh, shaved ice machine. Take giant hammer! Summon giant rock! Along with a bunch of small ones. Summon Shaved Ice Machine! None of you in the world can tell me this doesn't look like a giant shaved ice machine. It even shaves the ice. It does everything that a shaved ice machine would do if it was shaped like a Gundam. None of you can tell me I'm wrong. Playing Pokemon Insurgents? Is that some kind of Pokemon mod? It sounds like a Pokemon mod. We're gonna put impacts only on Isaac to boost the amount of, uh, to boost the, uh, power of those impacts. Wow, warning is not right. That's what you call ice cold? <laughs> no, that's what we call the truth. <laughs> Remember, the truth shall set you free. Uh, we'll use plywell. Poison club! I wish I could break him so bad. I wish I could just break him so bad right now. God darn it. Every time I do anything good, he breaks me. dead right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I was dead. Oh yeah. He's just dead. Uh, revive.
I think I just physically attack and you use a wish well. God dang it. Leave the poor kid alone. Sure, whatever. I should seal the synergy again. This is what I should do. Force him to only do physical attacks. High impacts. Wish well. I know I probably should be using more gin. Didn't get the hell off. I'm just gonna use Wish Well anyway. Okay, so Isaac is going to be the only one to use Jin. Because he does the most damage. I think everybody else just does physical things. Um, I will use Kite on him. So that Isaac can use Jin more often. So far, so good, though. Nothing terribly bad happens, right? He didn't, like, wipe my team out. I'll use Granite, uh, followed by Bane. Uh, we'll summon Atlanta. back every turn, by the way. No, he's not. He has auto regen? Really? So, about how much do you think he's getting back per turn? Well, the auto PP regen, I can I can understand definitely. It's the other stuff that I don't get, that I don't like. The tried and true flinch. I'm glad I use heal. I forgot how long this fight can be. Yo, leave Isaac alone. He didn't do nothing to you. Summon Judgment. Attack. High Impact. Apply well? I feel like if I... Yeah, let's not use High Impact. Let's just use a Potion, right? We don't want to lose him by accident. Skipping those. And dead bears no more. And I got shine plasma. 
Hey, I got my water of life. Now everybody has four. Demon male. Is that cursed male? It looks like two eyes. Drops wind resistance. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? What? That sounds terrible.